uh, I was having a conversation before we started of um, the question was, how are you doing? I said, I'm doing fine. I am growing, and I want to say we are growing into our power, but is a more personal basis, I'm, I am growing into my power. And hopefully I can be a great example intentionally, unintentionally, consciously, subconsciously, but uh, <clears throat> strike butt. And the leveling up and powerful part that see, is so unassuming is the, the use of our words and how we use our words. So I think today I'll start off with the prayer and then soon after the prayer, I'm going to be reading from Jesus' calling with scripture references, enjoying peace in the presence of, uh, in the peace in the presence. I, and right now my, my view is cut off. So it's a 365 65 day uh, book of devotional and I'll be reading from August the 3rd. So um, that being said, Let's go ahead and kick this off. We'll start off with the prayer. And, uh, and after the prayer, I redo the reading. Then we'll uh, put our signs in the room and do the precepts and move forward. Dear Mother, Father, God, divine, infinite spirit, source of all that is, I ask to be connected to you, to my higher self and the higher self of all that is present. I ask for assistance of the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, and the Reiki masters, Master Jesus, Master Buddha, Master Katumi, Saint Francis, Saint Germain, Saint Gabriel, Saint Raphael, Saint Michael, the Blessed Mother, the Divine Feminine, Moses, Metatron, Melzedek, and any other being of light of the Christ consciousness that wishes to be part of our reading. I ask that we be cleared. I ask that we be centered. I ask that we be aligned, balanced, and grounded, and that whatever comes for us comes for the best and highest good of all. I ask that we receive what is to be received and release what is to be released. I ask. I also ask to be be a. I ask that we be a clear channel of light for Metatron and his healing and his healing angels, and that we receive the highest vibration of light possible. I ask to be connected to the great rays, the lords and masters of the rays and arcane of the rays. I ask all this in the name of Jesus the Christ and, and in the name of I am, amen, and so it is. So I'll go ahead and read this. And I think it'll just sum up about the power part. Since we are humans having spiritual experience or spiritual beings having a human experience. So it starts by saying, well, before that, I'm just it's the power of the words and how we speak to one another and what we say to one or other and how we present to one another. And it's, I think, is why we feel certain ways. You know, you sometimes you, You've been with people and you have good conversations with them and you just feel so good. And then sometimes you can pe speak people, have people speaking and it just makes you feel some kind of way. Even if the person is not talking to you or you hear on the periphery of someone talking unkind to someone else, it kind of does something to the spirit. So <clears throat> my intention is to become a light and be a more conscious of the power that I am projecting, becoming aware of, and using in this space, in this universe. So watch your words diligently. Words have such great power to bless or to wound. When you speak carelessly or negatively, you damage others as well as yourself. The ability to verbalize is an awesome privilege granted only to those I created in my image. You need help in wielding the, this mighty power responsibly. Though the, though the world applauds quick-witted retorts, my instructions about communications are quite different. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Ask my spirit to help you whenever you speak. 
I have trained you to pray. Help me, Holy Spirit, before answering the phone. And you have seen the benefits of this discipline. Simply apply the, simply apply the same discipline to communicating with people around you. If you are silent, pray before speaking to them. If they are talking, pray before responding. These are split second prayers, but they put you in touch with my presence. In this way, your speaking comes under the control of my spirit. A positive speech pattern replaces your negative one. I'm sorry. As positive speech patterns replace your negative ones, the increase in your joy will amaze you. And it gives me three Bible verses, and I'm not sure what verse, version of the Bible is, but it reads as such. And the first one is uh, Proverbs 12, 18. Reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise bring healing. My dear brother, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. That's James 1st chapter 19. And finally, Ephesians 4, 29. Do, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their need, that it may benefit those who listen. And so it is. So <clears throat> there's, for me, a lot of layers in that. And I think the main thing that I want to take from that for myself and put it in my arsenal of supernatural tricks, tricks, supernatural powers, is to take that, internalize it, and grow from it, and go from there. So now we will, oh, just one second. Let me put, I usually put notes into the chat, and I didn't do it this time, so now I'll take this time to do that now. And I hit control, uh, and then hit send, everyone. Okay, good. And so we're there. And so now we'll begin the precepts. <clears throat> uh. Just for today, we are free of anger. Today, we are free of worry. Today, we are showing gratitude. Today, we are diligent in all our undertakings. Today, we treat all beings with love and kindness. Today, we use our words for our best and highest frequency. Just for today, we are free of anger. Today, we are free of worry. Today, we show gratitude. Today, we are diligent in all our undertakings. Today, we treat all beings with love and kindness. Today, we use our words for our best and highest frequency. Just for today, we are free of anger. Today, we are free of worry. Today, we are showing gratitude. Today, we are treating all beings with love and kindness. Today, we are diligent in all our undertakings. Today, we treat all beings with love and kindness. Today, we use our words for our best and highest frequency. Shokare, shokare, shokare. Sinheki, Sinheki, Sinheki. And if you would go ahead and put your symbols in your room, over your body, wherever you feel inclined to do so. <clears throat> and today we'll be using but by popular demand, we'll be doing uh, three minutes on each chakra. Okay, we'll start with our crown chakra. Mm -hmm. 
Remembering to take slow, long, deep breaths. Hold in vision anything that you are wishing, hoping for, for yourself or others as we go through these chakras. We'll transition to the third eye chakra.
Transition to our throat chakra. Transition to our heart chakra. Remembering to hold in mind that and envision what it is that you need, want, desire for yourself, someone.
And we're moving from the space between your navel and your heart. Move to your sacral chakra, the space right below your navel.
And we move to our root chakra. I put my hands on either side of my hips. Or you can use the small of your back. But now, <clears throat> send Reiki to each other.
We send, send and receive Reiki from Mother Earth, Mother Father Earth. We will now seal this Reiki session by doing the power symbol or the symbol of your Taurus over your chakra that's right below the navel. You put right over left, uh, left over right, whichever one you prefer. And we seal this Reiki session with the love of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, and the light of Jesus. And so it is. I'm trying to, I hope the music is okay. Some of it was surprising. However, I'm dealing with experimenting, learning uh, music that is royalty free. So, you know, we won't, uh, I won't be dinged for copyright infringement. But anyway, I hope every, it served everybody well and at your leisure, everybody, uh, someone can come off and share if they so please. Oh, I wanted, I wanted to share with the music there's um, websites where you can get royalty-free music. Okay. If you just search royalty-free music, there are mm -hmm. websites where you can actually get, they have like stipulations, like you can't, um, you can't record over it and sell it or you can't copyright it, but you can use it. Because I teach, I teach um, online fitness and 
they are websites. And as far as um, Zoom, if you're doing it on your computer, you can share the sounds. So you can go in and you can click it to say share. And then uh, it, you have to go to the advanced settings in your computer and it'll say share computer sound. And then you can play it from your computer and share it. And we can actually hear it and hear you talking over it. Just Okay, well, did you, but you were able to hear it this time though, right? I didn't hear any music, no. Maybe oh, okay, other I'm sorry. Did. I was yeah. playing it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But 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 what I learned is that if you if sometimes Zoom will tune it out because they think it's background noise. Right. So you have to play it from your device mm -hmm. and you have to share it from your device. So you have to share the music and then play it from your device. And then we could hear it just like we would hear it like on YouTube or like like just hear it regularly. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for just the input. Yep. Yeah. Melvin, thank you. That was exactly what I needed to begin the week. So it was just yeah. really energizing and clearing. And I loved how you opened uh, the session of the quote from James and about the words that come out of your mouth. It was just a, a great reminder. So thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Because we sometimes we forget or don't realize or we haven't been taught that we are energy as well. And we're amplifying also, and we have to be conscious of what we're amplifying. At least I would hope that as I pass through, I, you, you feel, I would prefer to make you feel better than worse. <laughs> Thanks. Anyone else? Yeah, thank you, Melvin. Oh, I can turn my camera on. Okay. Um, Good morning. Yeah, Good morning. thank you for that. I appreciate, as usual, the opportunity to go through the chakras, and I I also appreciate your um, your readings at the beginning. I took I was able to use the time also while giving myself Reiki to do my own little meditation on intention setting, something that I'm practicing right now. Um, so I found it useful for that as well. And yeah, I feel a lot better. And also with the music sharing thing, you might have to, it might be that you have to, when you find a link, share it with, with Donna, because in order to share your music, you actually have to go through the share screen mm -hmm. um, to share audio. So I just okay. want to. Oh, this is Donna. Thank you, Ashley and Crystal. I will definitely look into that. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Um, Hello. Yes, I wanted to say thank you very much. This is exactly what I needed. Um, you did wonderful. Um, the words that you say resonate with me and it goes in my heart. So I just want to thank you. I got goosebumps quite a bit on thank a you. lot of the areas, um, the thing that you said. So I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Nice to you. And I, I would say, I would like to submit that, uh, don't go away, Crystal, but uh, I would say that it, it's, it takes effort because sometimes people, and in that effort, sometimes you have to be rooted enough. One has to be rooted enough to stay out of the reactive mode because according, there are times when other so, uh, human beings could say stuff that would tr trigger a reaction. But I think I've learned that through meditation and other practices that I don't react so much anymore. And sometimes I, I don't, I stay in silence and don't respond or I train myself how to use my words to convey something that would clear anything that is less than positive. But anyway, I guess the main point was, is, is e the simplest forms is easier said than done sometimes. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, I just was gonna say thank you, Melvin. And um, that was beautiful. And thank you to everyone um, in the call today. Your energy is just amazing. And it was just a beautiful, this is my first time here. And it just was a beautiful, beautiful way 
to start the day, to start the week, and to be in this space, uh, um, just just being in the space of those who are seeking to um, align their lives. And, and I think it's so important that we find the spaces where, the, where others are seeking to align their lives with the higher good and, and with the divine, because that allows us to, um, to remember and to know that the path we're on is a real path, you know, um, because occasionally we can find ourselves in a world where there's a lot of beauty and a lot of wonder, and there can also be a lot of um, uh, connectedness to the physical. And we can sometimes forget that we are spirits having a physical experience. And so being in this energy uh, this morning was very, very beautiful. And I just wanna again, thank you, Melvin, and thank everyone here for this space that you held today, it was beautiful. You're welcome and thank you as well. Okay, go ahead, go ahead Carol. Thank, yeah, I also <coughs> want to thank you, Melvin. I just had knee surgery on Monday and going through all the chakras really was very, very helpful. And not everybody's energy was very healing. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, if no one else, then... I we will close this section with a Thanksgiving and uh, everybody stay hydrated according to where you are, stay cool. And I look forward to seeing and hearing from you guys again. Thank you, Melvin. Okay. Oh, Take care.